operate computers, and computer networks on ships. Main features of data processing Computers are all around us. From laptop computers to smartphones to smart watches. They're changing the way that we live our lives. But have you ever asked yourself, what exactly is a computer? A computer is an electronic device that manipulates information or data. The computer sees data as ones and zeros, but it knows how to combine them into much more complex things such as a photo, movie, website, game, and much more. Computers use a combination of hardware and software. Hardware is any physical part of the computer, which includes the internal components and the external parts, like the monitor and keyboard. Software is any set of instructions that tells the hardware what to do, such as a web browser, media player, or word processor. When most people say computer, they're talking about a personal computer. This can be a desktop computer or a laptop, which has basically the same capabilities, but in a more portable package. Personal computers come in a few different styles. The most common type uses the Windows operating system. Macs or Macintosh computers feature the Mac OS operating system, while Chromebooks run on Chrome OS. Smartphones and other mobile devices mostly use the iOS or Android operating systems. TVs, game consoles, and even appliances like refrigerators can have built-in computers. Although they may not do everything a desktop or laptop can. There is another type of computer that plays an important role in our live servers. A server sends information to other computers on a network. In fact, every time you use the internet, web servers deliver the web pages that you want to see to your computer. Servers are also used in many offices to store and share files. As you can see, there are many types of computers out there, and each one plays a part in our modern world. Every computer has its own set of buttons and ports. Some buttons are universal, like the power button. Depending on the type of computer you have, it may be on the front, on the back, behind the screen, or even on the inside. When you open the lid, the power socket is where you'll connect the power cord. If you have a laptop, you'll have a charging port instead. Laptops, for instance, often use the format for the charging port. Most computers provide more than one USB port, so you can plug in any device you might need. Keyboards, printers, and USB drives are all common examples. Some computers even have USB-C ports, which can be used for many different things, not just plugging in devices. If you have a desktop, you'll use the monitor port to connect the monitor. There are quite a few types of monitor connections, ranging from HDMI to the USB-C style. If you have a laptop, you can connect a separate monitor as long as you have the right equipment. Just look for the display port and plug in the appropriate cable. The Ethernet port lets you connect to the Internet. If you're not using Wi-Fi, all you need is an Ethernet cable, which you can then connect to your modem or router. If your computer has an audio jack, you can use it to plug in wired headphones or speakers. You may or may not have a disk drive. Depending on how old your computer is and who makes it, the disk drive can be used to insert a CD, a DVD, or a Blu-ray disc.